welcome to learning monkey i am vikram in this class we'll try to understand the definitions of entity attributes and entity type in our previous class we have discussed about uh, the entity relationship model the database design there we have converted there we have seen that the uh, the requirements that are collected will get converted into er model entity relationship model or entity relationship diagram so in the process of conversion we need to understand certain definitions so if you if you are able to understand those definitions it is very easy to convert those requirements into entity relationship model model or entity relationship diagram so let's try to understand some definitions which are related to that uh, those concepts it is entity attribute and entity type what is meant by an entity an entity is a real world thing with physical or conceptual existence so let's try to understand this by using our company database for example if you take a company database if you are trying to design a company database can you guess what are the real world things that are there in the company with physical or uh, conceptual existence just take a minute and try to uh, try to understand try to guess some of the real world things with physical and uh, uh, conceptual existence pause this video for a minute and try to uh, guess those uh, uh, real world things with physical and conceptual existence so the real world things that are there in the company are it is employee so each and every employee each and every employee in the company is a real world thing with physical existence and conceptual existence uh, for example if you take project one project uh, it may be one two or three project two project three so these are the pro the projects or the real world things they are existing in the company conceptually employee two employee three employee four employee five similarly employee hundred and similarly if you take department one department is a real world thing that is there in the company with physical existence so any such kind of things which are physically or conceptually existing so each and everything is what we call it as an, uh, uh, an entity so these are all the entities department one department two department three so these are all the entities so what is meant by an attribute attribute is the property which describes an entity a property if a, a property which describes an entity is what we call it as an attribute for example if you take employee can you guess some attributes which describe an employee some properties which describe an employee it is name name of the employee it is a property which describes an employee phone number phone number is another uh, property uh, address address sex of an employee and uh, we can have uh, what we can have uh, the other kind of date of birth date of birth of an employee so these are all the properties which describe an employee he may be a ceo he may be a, a manager or he may be a clerk so all the employees will have these properties okay similarly if you take department department name department number department number project project name p name let's take it as in short p name p number so these are all the properties these are all the properties of projects okay so the property a property which describes an entity is what we call it as an attribute okay next one is entity type entity type defines a collection of entities that have the same attributes for example if you take all these attributes all these entities among these entities what are all the entities which have the same properties can you collect all those entities with same properties if you take all these employees all these employees are the entities with same properties right so you take employee 1 or employee 4 or employee 90 or employee 100 or employee 1000 so all those employees will have the same properties right if you take department so department is then department if you collect all the departments the departments will have the same properties so among all these entities that we have in the company database collecting collection of entities that have the same attributes is what we call it as an entity type hope you are getting this point okay so this point is very important to understand so the employee is an entity type employee is an entity type because all the collection of all the employees 
is going to be an entity type because all the employees will have the same attributes okay so how those uh, entity type how the entity types are represented in the er diagram so we have seen that employee is an uh, the collection of all the employees is an entity type the collection of all the departments is another entity type the collection of all the projects is another entity type okay so uh, how these entity types are represented in the er diagram is it is represented by a rectangular box with the name of that entity type within it it is a employee within that rectangular box this is what we call it as an entity type with the name employee so the name within it uh, provided within the rectangular box this is what we call it as an entity type this is how it is represented in er diagram similarly if you take department department is an entity type department similarly the collection of all projects projects is an entity type okay this is how the entity types are represented in er diagrams how the attributes are represented attributes are represented so what are the attributes that we have for employee it is name it is a phone number sex address and similarly what are the attributes for department it is name next one is number so these are all the attributes of department okay so now how these attributes are represented in er diagram these attributes are represented using vowel shape so all the attributes are represented using vowel shape symbol within the within which we are going to give the name now what we, what we have to say is this is also these are also the attributes of department right but here we are having same attributes but it is there for department and it is also there for employee so in order to differentiate these kind of same attributes for the different entity types we will connect these attributes to the entity type so these which means that these attributes are connected to this employee type entity type employee and these attributes are connected these attributes are related these attributes are the properties which are going to describe the entity type department so this is how the attributes are represented and attributes are connected to the entity type okay so this is this is this is all about uh, entity attribute and entity type hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching